Hi there. Can I talk to you about a word from the world of manners? Please. We were all taught to mind your P's and Q's and watch your manners. Yet it seems that being polite is trending downwards. Think about it. Do the magic words get you to go viral, like face planting, being stupid, or having a grumpy kitty do? By the way, what does the Q in P's and Q's mean? I have no idea. When a child says please, there's only one meaning. That's not true for adults, who also use it as a verb. To please, sometimes in a sexual context. Look at how quickly I went from manners to sex. That's what's happening around us. Our culture is becoming coarser, ruder, more sexualized. What once was never became shameful, normal, and then expected. So are good manners a thing of the past? Certainly using them is not hard. How much time does it take to say please? How much energy does it take? It's just one syllable. Please. Use it. Anytime you are asking anyone to do anything. Every single time. Please. We always talk about helping yourself. Saying please fits into that category. It helps you. It makes it much more likely that you'll get what you ask for and maybe even more, like being clued in on something important or being surprised and helped. Saying please recognizes that the other person has feelings. It might just make their day. Treating them the right way is contagious. It might spread like a wonderful virus might even find its way back to you. Saying please or any of the other magic words makes you stand out in a good way. It gets you remembered for having class. It gets you respect. How's that just from being polite? Talk about a big return from such a small, almost infinitesimal thing. By the way, don't say please to a machine. If you do, it won't do any more than it was built to do. But, and there's always a but. Begging it might be funny and humor relieves stress. Another by the way, be polite when you meet rudeness. You might make a difference to them. Certainly, being rude makes everything worse and it lowers you to their level. Is that where you want to be? When you don't say please, you make the other person into a thing. Do you want to tell me how that is ever good? Tell me, please. Unless, by the way, most of the time that people are rude, they're distracted, like on their cell phones <laughs> when ordering coffee. And you know I'm right. But, and here's another but. There are people who choose to be rude. I guess that they thinking that theirs doesn't stink makes them something. They're right. It makes them ill-mannered, pompous, flaming, I won't say what. <laughs> you can guess. And you can quote me on that if you can find a polite way to do so. Before I forget, you can use please in the wrong way like to hide knowingly abusing an employee by asking for something needless, unreasonable, and almost impossible. Or by begging, please God, I will give up drinking if you find me a parking space. Oh, too late God, there's one over there. I am Mike for the Be More Better team. Thank you for watching, we really appreciate it. Please comment, like, follow, all the rest. Subscribe if you haven't, but always, always be more better, body, mind, and spirit. And then please be even more better when you remember others learn from what you are more than what you say. So be polite.
and say the words too. Please tell us if you found this one useful and what others might be. This has been a pleasure. Until the next time, bye now.